<laughs> all right, so I love when you ask them, by the way, how you make a Christmas tree green. Yeah, I'm you know, still trying to figure that one out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> teachers own, as they say. All right, the, another, from one Charles Payne special to another, as I like to say. That's right. Speaking, Bronco brand? You talk about classics. That's right. The brand is back. <laughs> really? The one that brought us the infomercial. I was able to ask the new CEO and president of Bronco Acquisition, Larry Nesbaum, why the company is so special now. Gotta, li gotta listen to this one. We're bad at innovation, okay? We brought back the old favorites, you know, the pocket fisherman, which is right over here, so you can, you know, go catch a fish in the springtime. We brought back the Vegematic, which is in the Smithsonian. Of course, we haven't forgotten the old favorites like the set it and forget it rotisserie grill. But with new innovations, new and improved pasta maker, and a knife set that sells for 39 bucks, we think we've covered all the kitchen gadget needs for America that needs it. Now, your company got in some trouble, though, a few years ago. Tell us a little bit about that. When Ron sold the business, the company was blowing and going, doing very well in 2005. Sold the business, and they left Ron's picture, his image, and his thesis for basically going on television and showing the products, demonstrating it. And they used someone else. They washed off all images of himself and basically tried a different direction, getting away from the infomercial. The company failed. It went into bankruptcy very quickly in 2007. And that's when you stepped in, and you've been turning it around. Tell us how you've been able to pull this off. You know, it's been, you got to right size a business. The fundamentals in business still hold. The overhead, the SGNA, but most importantly, we brought back the vision of the man that created the category. We brought back Ron Popeil, his image, his likeness, and the type of products that Ron had, including the old favorites, the Mr. Microphone, the spray on hair, all those things that you laugh at, they're back. The Vegematic is back, and it's better than it was The spray before. on hair is back, too? The spray on hair is back for really? those who want it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even. Okay. Listen, you know, so you, you do talk about people, you know, making fun of infomercials particularly the long infomercial how come they are so effective if people make so much fun of them and it's like you know it seems corny but why do they work because you tell them what they want first of all you're offering value second of all you're reaching a wide and targeted audience like with this we're talking about money and success in business there are audiences lifetime different networks that target different audience bases and they want an easier gadget something they can stay home and cook with right. we tell them what the problem is we give them a, a solution at a value okay you said you brought back products, but what are some of the products you have in a pipeline we can look forward to? Oh, well, we have a Mongolian or Korean barbecue that is very exciting. Really? You know, oh, man, hot. I love Mongolian barbecue. <laughs> I sound like I'm an infomercial now. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, we've got some things here. Why don't you walk us through and show us a few of these products? Okay, well, certainly, look, I'm excited about the Grill Wave. It's, it's, the, it's the George Foreman Grill without the plug. Right. It, it barbecues in your microwave, turns your microwave into a barbecue, fits into every form and function. Are they all that microwave. size or do any of them come bigger than that? We have a deluxe size that's a little larger but they fit into every single microwave oven. Okay, okay. over here on the other side, uh, this looks interesting. What is this? Charles, that's the new and improved electric pasta maker. Carbs are back. Atkins is gone. Carbs are back. Why don't you I turn it carbs off? Carbs are out? <laughs> no one ever told, told me. No. <laughs> okay. So turn it on. Watch. Oh, okay. it, you can see. make any kind of healthy pasta right there. There it goes. Now watch. All right. Look how it stirs it. And the machine works, and actually you can extrude facili, penne, any type of pasta. Look how it's just coming out. Wow. By the way, it also makes a sausage. So there you go. You put in all the ingredients, and almost within five minutes, you're creating homemade pasta. And can you change this and get different types of pasta? You can change it. You can make spinach pasta. It turns into a sausage maker. This product is even better than when Ron Popeil brought it out 20 years ago. Let me ask you, you're a turnaround specialist. So it seems to me at some point you'll rebuild this company to its old luster. What then? Like anything, we're in the business of buying businesses, turning around, putting operational efficiencies in, and then we'll probably sell it to somebody who want to combine it with something else right. or take it to the next level. But going public is out of the question. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. You're watching the market? A mm, little well, scared right Larry now. Larry Nesbaum, this is fantastic. Congratulations. Really appreciate it. And you know, you've done a great job. Thank you, Charles. Wow. Hey, let me tell you something. Anybody ever tells you, anybody ever tells you that Charles Payne is just a stock picker, forget about That's it. That's right. versatility multi, right there. multifaceted. Work in the kitchen, <laughs> the whole thing. I like that a lot. That was, that was, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun to do. All right. Uh Christmas and it's really cool. I just got these with my pocket fisherman. It's the fishing invention of these. Well, you've likely seen Ronco's late night TV ads for the pocket fisherman and spray on hair. But the pioneer of the infomercial is bouncing back from the brink. This holiday season, Ronco went public 
uh, actually this holiday season are bouncing back because in 2005 when they went public the stock was chopped up as if it was actually going through a Vegematic itself. Ronco turns 50 and it's adding new products and a new partnership with Walmart and Kohl's has helped make it a 45 million dollar year company. The CEO and president of Ronco Acquisition Larry Nesbaum joins us now. First of all 50 years wow that in itself is pretty successful. Tell us how did the idea come about in the first place? You know the whole thesis was you know we have Colonel Sanders, Ron Popeil, the inventor of the whole category, infomercials, short and long form TV. If we bring his products back, bring his image, his likeness and his fur for products and we create innovative new products, why can't we with the right cost structure and the right overhead make Ronco what it was? It was, you know, Ron built it to a $200 million right. business for 20 years. Right. I mean there's no doubt he had that magic touch and you know to a certain degree obviously he still does. Let's talk about the infomercial itself because your company pioneered the infomercial. How big is infomercial? What kind of a role does it play in our, in our economic system, if you will? And what are some of the changes that you see in infomercials? Well, just ask Barack Obama. I mean, only several weeks ago, he had the Obamercial, the Obamercial, which I spoke on. And let me tell you, you can reach a mass audience. And I don't, I'm not talking about the yell and sell, the Carney approach. You can let people know we've got a problem and here's a solution in 30 minutes and give them what they want. Okay, Ronco, 50 years, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Recently, you ran into some bumps. Tell us what happened. You know, uh, when Ron sold the company in 05, the company was about 100 million, 10 million in profits. And basically, the management that bought the company drove it right into the ground, 28 right. months of losses. It went to 50 million minus 10 in EBITDA, or losses, net profits. Reason is, they left Ron. It's like taking Colonel Sanders and washing off, you know, Colonel Sanders' image, okay? Wendy's without Wendy's face. They used someone else. They didn't go back to his products, and they stopped running TV shows. The product, the company died. But, but I also think to a certain degree, Larry, you're being a little modest because it's not just bringing back Ron. I mean, you guys are succeeding where almost every other you know, company in the retail space is failing. What else are you doing to achieve that? Well, we've got value products at value price points. I mean, Westoff and Henkel's, tough market to be selling high-end luxury brands. We're selling a $39.95 knife set, 25 pieces. We're giving the customers mid-range value and mid-range products that appeal to all classes of trade in all categories, and it works. Let's talk about some of the products. What are your best sellers right now? Well, certainly the ever-present, you know, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. The chicken. I wish I could do that with the stock market. <laughs> I'm sure buy a lot it of people wish it. that. Yeah. <laughs> True. Or buy it and don't forget it. Yeah, there you go. Um, we have the new Grill Wave, which actually turns your microwave into a micro griller, if you will. Oh, so you could put that in the microwave? It's the George Foreman Grill without the plug. Imagine grilling food in a microwave immediately within minutes. Really? Getting that grilled, fill, you know, that grilled fresh taste. Okay. okay. The Vegematic, which is the only product in the Smithsonian Institute, the only gadget in history, is actually back. It, this was the original slicer dicer. Ron wow. Popeil created this 50 years ago. Okay. Larry, fantastic. Congratulations. Alexis, back over to you.